Hey guys, back in the shop working on the Jeep's engine. Let me get our light turned on here so we can see a little bit better. Um, what we're doing today is we're gonna go ahead and put a uh, Eastwood ceramic high temp engine primer on this. I have uh, sanded this block down with wire wheel, wire brush and everything else. And then I've given it a good wipe down with acetone and uh, we're getting ready to paint it now. You can see we've got everything taped off. You guys kind of saw some of my tricks on, on taping these items off. I'm gonna show you a couple more tricks too. I've uh, you know taped off everything that has a gasket sealing surface on it, obviously, because we don't wanna get paint on there and interrupt that seal with the gasket. But on these freeze plugs, it's real important <clears throat> to not get spray inside of there too. And I'll tell you why. We're gonna ultimately be using uh, Evan's waterless coolant on this. And um, even if you're not, you know, what we're relying on um, with, with the uh, radiator coolant um, engine coolant is heat transfer and if you look in here you can see we got our cylinder walls in there and uh, if you get any paint on those cylinder walls that's gonna you know insulate them a little bit and it's not gonna take you know a tremendous amount of you know heat transfer it's not the end of the world if you get a little bit of uh, paint in there it's not the end of the world but you definitely don't want to get you know a ton of paint in there um, on those cylinder walls interfering with the the heat transfer so what i do is i just take some painters tape and i uh i ball it up like this scoot back just a little bit and i ball it up like this just like a ball just regular painters tape and i just kind of kind of stick it in there and, and i sometimes i flatten it out just so i can get you know a little bigger diameter and uh, once it's in there it's good to go that'll keep the <clears throat> majority of any paint spray from getting in there now the second thing i like to do before I paint an engine block, is just kind of, kind of real quick go over it with a torch. I'm not trying to get it hot. I just want to burn off any fuzz floating around in the, in the. You know, I used a, you know, lint-free towels to wipe it with acetone. But even the lint-free ones still have a tendency to leave a little bit. So I just kind of come in here and, and just do a real quick, just do a real quick uh, flash over of this and get all the little hair and fur and stuff from uh, all the sanding and all the wiping off of this. Just a real quick once over. We're not trying to heat this up or anything like that. We're just trying to, to burn off anything that would give me a little, uh, you know, any type of a uh, fuzz or anything like that from rags and things like that. And you can kind of see it sparkle as it burns off. Kind of a quick once over. And that's done. And again, we're using the uh, Eastwood Y2K or the East, Eastwood 2K um, paint, and I have already pierced. I shook this for two minutes, and I pierced the uh, the valve in the bottom, and I shook it for another two minutes. So this is good and agitated, and we're gonna we're gonna get after it here. You know, why don't you stand behind me so that you can see and so that you don't get these uh, paint fumes on you? We got very good ventilation, and we're just gonna go in these big strokes. Or tape up really well. Where I could install plugs, I did so that any threads get protected. Any other threads, we will just chase the paint off of them with the uh, tap and die again. But this is going on really nicely.
Okay, we'll let that sit for about 20 minutes so that we can get another uh, coat of this on. And then after the uh, you know second coat of this, we'll let that sit for another 20 minutes and then we'll hit it with our actual engine color, which will be black. So we'll pause it for now, guys, and when we come back, you'll see this, uh, this engine miraculously get you know its final coat and color on it. Thanks, guys. One, go. Hey, guys. Okay, guys, sorry, a little blip there. We have fast forwarded magically to 20 minutes ahead and I have, uh, you know, got a good uh, primer on this. Now we've switched to the 2K aerosol high temp ceramic engine paint from Eastwood. This is the gloss black. I've already done all the jazz of uh, shaking it for two minutes, popping the uh, capsule on the bottom and then shaking it for another two minutes and we're getting, uh, you know, ready to, uh, to put some color down. So uh, we've got a nice flat kind of gray on here primer and uh, now we're gonna shoot it with the black. Here we go. If you guys notice, I kind of went down and then I went up and then I kind of hit all the edges and, and corners separately. I don't want to get this down too thick, but I don't want to miss the corners and the edges. There's lots of nooks and crannies on this block. And uh, I'll just be perfectly honest, this is a pretty gnarly casting. It's, it's got pretty good texture to it, so it's kind of hard to mess this up. I just really don't want to leave a spot where there's no protection from rust more than anything because we will end up leaking fluid putting this thing together and I don't want that fluid to find a uh, spot of bare metal somewhere so it's more about protection than it is about beauty but definitely trying to get all angles You know how we're doing on time on this video? Eight minutes. All right. And 54 we'll go ahead seconds. And let this coat set for about 20 minutes, and we'll come back and let the uh, put a second coat on it and try to get this thing finished. All right. So pause it for now, Nina, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, guys. So just finishing up here. Um, looks like we got a good coat of uh, primer down, a good coat of uh, the uh, final coat of the, the high gloss black. It's looking pretty good. This will cure. I think probably in about 12 hours, um, it probably says on here. Um, cures relatively fast in most conditions, um, 70 to 85 degrees, 50 percent humidity. We're probably a slightly higher humidity than that, but uh, at any rate, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much done. I will say um, what you kind of do here towards the end is you, you get a flashlight and you look all around and you look for little spots where perhaps the paint didn't get. So like right here in this corner and you just kind of get in there and try to get those spots so you don't leave any gray. And then, you know, of course, as we get this thing out in the daylight, little spots are going to stick up that, uh, that we missed that you just can't see in the garage. And we will, uh, we will get those coated with, with uh, you know, either just some nail polish or something just to, just to get them so they're not going to rust, but there won't be enough of that that it would be anything that, that would detract from the look of this engine. 
Uh, but that's how you do it. You, uh, you buy good paint, you don't use the uh, parts store stuff. You buy this Eastwood 2K stuff and you get a good catalyzed hard paint on here so that when you're putting this thing together, you know, that paint's not flaking off and chipping off of you. Uh, and when this thing comes up to operating temperature and, and things like that. This, this stuff sticks very good and stays stuck to the paint. And uh, if, you, if you do scratch it, you know, it's not a big deal. It usually doesn't, you know, the, it doesn't flake off like the other stuff. You just get a little ding in it or a little nick in it, something nobody would notice. But yeah, it turns out pretty good. I uh, got the head painted over here too. So, um, you know, same story here on the head. You want to make sure you put a piece of tape in that water inlet so that you don't get black paint on the uh, interior of that to, you know, you don't want anything affecting your heat transfer. Uh, but we're good with the head. We're good with the engine block. Um, we're waiting on a one stud to come in here that we ordered. And once that's in here, we should be uh, putting this thing back together. But that's the uh, Willys Go Devil engine with a coat of uh, Eastwood primer and a coat of Eastwood black high gloss paint. Sharp looking block. Thanks guys. See you later.